scene. In EPC Girls Volleyball, we got a little bit of a battle of Bethlehem between Liberty and Freedom. Liberty recently suffered two pretty tough losses to EPC rivals Parkland and Central Catholic, and now they're on to another one in Freedom. Yeah, and Liberty has been one of the top teams in the EPC in the Girls Volleyball Department this season. But, of course, we know some of the teams they are chasing, Parkland, Emmaus, Nazareth. Now, all three of those teams won last night, so Liberty trying to keep pace in that very crowded EPC. Here's Leah Kosi with a recap. After falling in the first two sets, 25 to 11 and 25 to 7, the Freedom Patriots will rally, hoping for a different outcome in the third set against the Liberty Hurricanes last night. Sophomore Avery Lynn with the kill here, and then minutes later, she'll sneak in another one over the net for a 7-2 lead. And the Patriots aren't done yet. Emily Sir with a nice dig. Grace Grandinetti with the assist to Brenna Ortwine. Just like that, Freedom takes a 10-4 lead. But don't count Liberty out just yet. Senior Lena Paragini ignites a 12-2 run that includes a nice block from senior Julia Burson. And then later, Burson gets the kill to tie it up at 12. The Hurricanes take a 16-12 lead. Grandinetti will come back with a kill here to cut the lead to three, but Freedom will not get any closer than that as Liberty finishes on a 9-3 run to take the final set 25-16. With the win, Liberty improves to 7-2 and two overall, while Freedom falls to 5-5. Five and five. We just came off of two tough losses from Parkland and Central, and then we played another team yesterday, so that was fun. Um, but this was a really good way to get back into it, Freedom. I mean, we're all a great rivalry. We love coming here. Um, it's the same thing every year with Freedom and Becca, the Bethlehem rivalry. So getting this win is really good. It gives us momentum. Talk about the first two sets you guys took that no problem. Third set, they started out with an early lead. What were your thoughts when you guys say to each other to pull out the win? Um, we always stay focused. We always come together, we stay focused, and we get it together because everyone has errors. Some people have mental errors, physical errors, but we really just come together in the huddle and we say, focus, get this next ball. It's always about the next point, the next ball. We focus, we keep moving forward. So we really just came together and was like, all right, this next ball, this next point, it's ours. We're getting it. Freedom's arrival. You know, we want this win every year. Um, this senior class hasn't lost to them before, and they're determined not to. Uh, so it was a big deal. We know that Freedom's really young, but they're also really scrappy. A lot of club players, uh, a lot of energy on their side of the court. Um, so they can make it interesting. The Lady Hurricanes will have the weekend to savor the win. Then it's back to action next week with three games on their schedule, ending with Bethlehem Catholic at home on Thursday for their Dig Pink event. That's one of our favorite matches ever. Um, the coach before me passed away from breast cancer, so it's a really big event for us. We try to make it a special night. Um, we try to honor everybody who's ever had breast cancer, who's passed from it, who's a survivor. Uh, so it's a really big night for us. We get the band. The girls get pretty emotional. Um, and against Becca, it's always a really fun match. They fight for every single point. Um, so I expect it to be a tight, a tight match on, on Thursday. In Bethlehem, Leah Kosi, Two Sports. That should be a great event next mm -hmm. Thursday for the Dig Pink event. Before that, though, Liberty's going to head to Stroudsburg on Monday. Meanwhile, free, next up for the Freedom Patriots, a trip to Pleasant Valley on Monday evening as well. Yeah, Dan, switching gears a little bit to 